It's that time of year when we forget about our indoor decor because it's patio season, baby. So if you're looking for ideas on what to add to your space this summer, look no further. Here with the trends to watch out for, Brian Gluckstein! <laughs> All right, Brian, it's early. Maybe. Have you set up your patio already? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am getting the garden ready April. Yes. End of April, cleaning it up. May, some planting of bushes and things, and the furniture's out in mid-May. You might as well, because you blink and the season's over. Exactly. So buy it early, go and sit on it early, and have some fun with it, and enjoy that sun while we can. So the furniture, the patio furniture, we've been talking about patio furniture on this show for about 15 years. Exactly. Every year you come here, it gets a little bit better, a little bit better, and now we're literally seeing, like, indoor furniture outside. outside. That, like, it's upholstered. Yeah, so this, this is, is new. This is all Gluckstein Home for Hudson's Bay. And when we designed this collection, it really is like an indoor sofa, but it is not constructed like an indoor sofa. Right. So there is, um, the core of this is like cells. So when the water comes, it just goes right through, where oh. indoor would be like a sponge and it would hold it. Also, the fabric's different. This type of design is great for people that don't want to deal with all the cushions. Right. Because it's permanently upholstered, yeah. great on balconies, things like that, docks, windy areas where you, you're worried about that. But yeah. whenever you have patio furniture that's upholstered, still cover it um, in the evening. For sure. And this is a much easier thing to do than what we do, which is bring the cushions the in cushions every in. night so the raccoons don't have their own party after we I go know. to bed. I know. They the love our patio set. So we I take know. the cushions off, put them in the shed. This is so much easier. They used Just to be afraid it. of us. Now they're not. I was in the pool, sitting on a step, and they're like walking to Towards me, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I know when they know I'm there, they're gonna go away. No, 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 no. no. They were no. like, you go, we're not going. Right. They will perch beside you and pour a drink. Yeah, they're like, right? why are you here? What are you doing? Why are it's you my here spot. In your garden? So this is beautiful, yes. uh, and it's sort of low maintenance. Let's talk a little bit about the texture that you've added to the space to give it some character and color. Yes. So we've got um, a lot of different ceramic end tables. These are great. You can sit on them too, but these Ooh. end tables, those are going to be inside also, but they're really designed for outside. Yeah. Um, some of these tables that look like stone, but they're not stone. Oh, I love so that So you don't one. have to worry about staining or anything like that. Yeah. This is a great table to eat at or for if you're going to work outside. Yes. Because you can put your computer on that. So we use these on the inside also, tables like this. If you want to sit at the sofa, and you, remember TV trays? Yes. Where you use the full, well, this is a nicer version of a TV. Those tray. were good times, having they a TV dinner time. on a TV tray. I know. That was like my mom was too tired to cook, but I thought it was special. Exactly. I'm like, it's awesome. Exactly. So just have a seat there for a second. Because when I'm on the yeah. sofa outside, what I find is very difficult to reach that middle ottoman and eat or do your work. Now you've got that little table. Now you can just shovel it in. And you're it's perfect. right here. You're just yeah. like that. <laughs> so, but this, but I do, I do lie down outside yeah. and sit down, and I'll be on my computer. And right. My grapes, my bowl of grapes. This guy only wants to sit. I, I don't like standing. Yeah. I only like sitting and lying down. That's my favorite. The only thing better than sitting is straight horizontal. Exactly. Yes. And then we're seeing color. Yes. Color. But what kind of color? Pastels. Yes. Lots of pastels, lots of flower colors, yeah. not primary colors. We're not looking at reds and bright colors like that. Yeah. We're looking at soft colors. So even if you don't have a dock or a pool or something, the towels are great for wraps at night. Yes. And that's how you can bring in the color into the space also yeah. um, in, the, in the day and in your garden. And it then still the, gets chilly. Exactly. And then we see it in dinnerware. That's really nice. And it's hard to believe that this is plastic and this is melamine. Absolutely. And when, I mean, when my kids were young, that was, we'd use that inside and outside. Yes, Because yes. this way nothing's getting broken. I right? hear that from a lot of young families, yeah. that they use the dinnerware inside with it's the beautiful. kids. beautiful. Why not? But you really do not want to use glass outside because if you drop it and break it, it's a real problem because you want to be barefoot. So really yeah. avoid using glass outside. Let's talk a little bit like it's very zen. The very beautiful zen. water feature, the beautiful zen garden. Let's talk about that. So this is um, Sheraton Nurseries sent this over and I love the sound of water. Yeah. So water fountains are really hot. They're so easy because you just fill the reservoir and it recirculates. It's not like you have to plumb it in. You just plug it in. So this is really great in any garden, but especially if you are have a garden or a balcony near traffic. Yeah. Because the water muffles the sound yes. of traffic. So for balconies, these are great. 
and small spaces. And They're small awesome. Space. There's something about hearing that water trickle that is very calming. And then, of course, the plants as well, like very manicured. Yes, if That's we're talking in. zen, we're talking minimal. Yeah. We're talking like one or two species. So you mm. might just do ferns mm -hmm. and some sculpted plants. This will fill out quite a bit. Yeah. But we'll still keep these palm, like these pom poms. Yeah. Um, but if you want zen, it's all about very clean and simple. And this is all from Sheridan. All from Sheridan. I thought they were all fake. That's how perfect they look. They're so beautiful. That one's real, that one's fake, that one's real, that you can't tell. Oh, that's so good. I want now, that fake fern. Now, if you're using artificial plants outside, just yeah. make sure they're UV rated or they'll turn turquoise. Oh. So, yes, you could have some weird looking bushes. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So UV for planting. I think yeah. because there are trees that you can get for outside that yes, are Yes, you can. Artificial. Okay, so let's talk about this awesome barbecue here. So well, if we're outside, we might as well like move out here. Yeah, the kitchen should be sealed up except for the fridge in the summertime because <laughs> you should really be out here. And, and you know, buy all the utensils, like these baskets for vegetables or fish. I was going to say, what are we going to use that for? Well, you, should you, we ask somebody who cooks, Brian? We should ask someone who cooks. <laughs> um, yeah, because we are not good at it. That's not us. Though, but I can make corn. Okay. So, um, but this is great That's for good. fish, flaky things like fish that you're flipping over. You don't want it to fall apart. Right. So things like this, tacos, very popular oh, with tacos I love and that. things like that. It's very and cute. And paella, which is so great nice. to have a paella pan here. And then I love a barbecue with a burner because again, I'm a corn person. So yes. a, a, you know, a pot full of corn is everything for me. You've got everything you need out here. You got the zen. You got the food. You got the beautiful furniture. You can chill out, Brian. Thank you so much.